So in this example, I'm just going to show you quickly how you can read in lines from a text file or read in text. So the first thing I, I'm going to do is opening and closing file. Okay, so we always have this at the beginning so we know what our program is doing. So we're going to go text file open and the file was called write it dot text that's the file we've worked with and we're reading the file R means read now we would need to close the file after we've used it but if we were just to close it that wouldn't do anything so we need to insert some code that actually prints out things to our screen so what I'm going to do is go print text underscore file dot read and what this does for us is it actually prints for example the first character then the fifth character so let me just show you that working this might actually give me a syntax error yes make sure you use your brackets um, here so let's have a look at that so you can see I've got the first and then the fifth character because I've got a space after that. So it's got the first character and then the fifth character. Now the alternative way of doing this would be to actually read the whole file at once. So what I could actually do, uh, let me just copy this, is print text file dot read. And watch what this does. So that reads the whole file. So that's the whole file there. Now our alternative to that is that we can actually read just read them into a line. So for example, what I could do is read just the first line. So I could go print text file dot read line. Okay. And that there, let me just close that off. Okay, so I've got text.readline. Let me just close this first. Okay, and that's read in the first line of the file for me. So that's just read in line one. Now, what you can also do is actually, for example, lines equals text file dot read lines, and I can print lines. So watch what happens there. So that I can print all of those lines. So that's showing me everything on each line. And then after that, the other thing that I could also do is maybe find out the length of the lines. Let me just put that in brackets. So that tells me that there's five items in, five items remaining. And the reason why it says five is because it's already printed the first line. So if I comment this out now and run this, you can see that because it's read it from the beginning, it's got six. And then we close the file and that's finished. Now you could get your students, okay, to actually extend this by trying a loop. So they could put a loop there, uh, so they could use a for loop and actually print it line by line. And then you can start integrating some lists and arrays with them, so that would be useful to your students.